Copyright 2014, Math, Diagnostics, and Intervention, all rights reserved. We're going to take a look at how to write an inequality if we're given the graph of the inequality on a number line. And the first thing we need to do is we need to find the endpoint of our inequality. In this case, our endpoint is at the number negative 3 right there. So we have something going on at the number negative 3. So we're going to take a look and we're going to say our variable, in this case f, if one is not given to us, we can write whatever variable we want. I just chose the letter f because I like the letter f. And the number negative 3. Notice I left a little bit of space there. Now we have to put our inequality symbol between our variable and our endpoint. And the rule is that as long as the variable comes first, the direction the graph points and the direction that my inequality points are going to be the same. In this case, both need to point to the right. And there's one other thing we need to check. This is a solid dot at my endpoint. I have this filled in circle at the number negative 3. That makes it an or equal to inequality. So in this case here, f is greater than or equal to negative 3. Let's take a look at another example. In this example here, we have to find our endpoint again, and something is going on at the number 5 in this case. So I'm going to write a variable. Let's pick the letter C and leave a little bit of space and the number 5. Now, the direction of my inequality and the direction of my graph need to be the same. That's the rule as long as the uh, variable is first. So they both point to the left. This is not filled in. Notice that I have an open circle here at the number 5, at my endpoint. So that's not going to be an or equal to. I'm just going to leave it as a strict less than sign. So I have an open circle. That's not or equal to. My variable is first. The direction of the graph and the direction of the inequality are the same. C less than 5. Let's try one more. In this case here, I've got to pick up my endpoint again, and my endpoint is the number negative 7. So I'm going to write my variable, x, and leave a little bit of space, and the number negative 7. Once again, my variable is first, so the direction of my inequality and the direction of my graph will be the same. My graph is pointing to the right, so my inequality will point to the right. And this is an open circle again at the number negative 7. That means it is not n or equal to inequality. I'm just going to leave it strictly as a greater than sign. So in this case here, x is greater than negative 7. As long as you remember the rule that when the variable is first, the direction of the graph and the direction of the inequality will be the same, you should have very few difficulties writing inequalities for graphs on the number line. Good luck.